Welcome to the Burn Saddle Resaddle Fitting video. Here today with me is Wendy Wynn, as well as myself, Destiny Crane. We painted the horse today to show you a few key points. First of all, the scapula, which is the main joint of the shoulder, which if the saddle is set on top of the scapula or is putting too much pressure on the scapula, it will impede the range of motion. There's also the accessory nerve, which is just above the scapula in the triangular region by the withers in the scapula. The accessory nerve, if pinched, will cause twitching as well as hollowing of the back, which will impede the horse's performance. The loin is one of the largest muscles on the back. We would like the bars of the saddle to lay flat with even contact over the loin muscles. Also, we'd like the bars to not exceed the 18th rib. So how you can tell at home where the 18th rib is, is it where it's where the hairline changes. We're gonna talk about uh, trees today along in our saddle fitting video. The parts of this tree, we have the saddle horn, the pommel or the swells, the bars, as well as the cannel. Now, this, this specific, specific tree is made from cottonwood pine and then it's a, a lacquer finish. We also have trees that are covered in rawhide, deer hide lace. Deer hide expands and contracts in the moisture and actually elongates the tree so it lasts much longer. As we talk about the tree today, we wanna to talk about gullet width. We can do anything from a semi-quarter horse to a full quarter horse bars and anything in between. When we put this tree on this uh, cruiser's back today, it actually is a really nice fit. We're gonna place the tree behind the scalpula, and we're gonna make sure that it's positioned over the widest part, the loin, so the bars are in contact. The pitch of the bar is really important here, and we wanna talk about the pitch of the bar. So if we're using it for a barrel horse, the pitch may be a little bit thinner because most barrel horses are strong-shouldered, thin spine, and short-backed. So it, it actually contacts really nice from front to back. We're not impeding movement with the front of the bars or the back of the bars. On this tree, it's a Buster Welch modified tree. Buster Welch modified tree actually comes down. The front, you can see, flares out. The back flares out, and that helps for proper movement. In any kind of performance industry, we're running for tenths of seconds to win first place. It's all about the bottom line. Well, with burn salary, it's all about the bottom line here also, because if our hind end isn't moving correctly because the shoulders are pinched, it costs us money, it costs us time. So we really like to have adequate width over the back of the bars and a front flare to where the shoulder can do its job, the hip can do its job as well. Thanks so much for joining us for the Burn Salary Saddle Fitting video today. We look forward to seeing you down the road and we also look forward to seeing you in Salina, Utah at the main ship where we build custom hats, custom saddles and custom boots. Come and see us soon.